The following video is presented by EA Game Changers. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage, but I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. I uh, thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Toto Wolf. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then. So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Avons, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Brian. Hayden, I'm glad I've caught you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now, that was my fault. I know how he can be. What, childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side. Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held, so a special year for F1 fans particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a six. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. 
An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz, and Kvyat, Norris, Ricardo, Gasly, and Alexander Elbon, Ocon, Leclerc, Lance Stroll, and Butler, Vettel, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Aidan Jackson. Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right, let's see if we can squeeze some performance out of this new power unit. Good luck out there today. That brings you up a place. Casper should be within reach soon, Aiden. You are free to race.
job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Got that confirmed. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. In this lap, in this lap, push now.
go, go. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Behind is 9.7 seconds. this lap of the race, keep this up. Behind is 39.1 seconds. We have five laps of fuel remaining.
three laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Drive. We did it. Good job. Well, well, well. Quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aiden Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from Claren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better result today. Congratulations, Aidan. Top spot on the podium. How are you feeling? What a day. I can't believe it. It's the best possible result. I'm going to enjoy this moment, but not run away with myself. I've got to try and keep my focus for the next race. But, you know, first place. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? I couldn't do it without the support of the team. They've been incredible. I'm feeling looked after and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Kasper Ackerman? kasper has got a way about him, you know. He's hot-headed. He can get offended easily. I'm learning that I've just got to accept that. Any problems are his, not mine. Great, well that's everything. Here with you. See your face in the crowd.